Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this GarageBand for iPhone quick tip, we're continuing our series on the brand new features in version 2.2 of GarageBand for iPhone. And in this particular video, the third in the series, we're looking at the new chord strips option for our keyboard instruments. So if you've used the keyboard, any sort of keyboard, piano or any other keyboard instrument in GarageBand, you'd be aware that you have the ability to play it just like a regular keyboard. You can also hit on this option to change it into a particular scale. So if you wanted to make sure you're sticking to a major scale, you can do that. So you don't have to worry about hitting wrong notes because anything you hit is gonna be within that scale. You also have the very cool arpeggiator that we can put on if we hit that and we hold down some notes. Very cool. And finally now, we have chord strips option. So if we tap on that one, then we have these sort of options. So if you've used the strings or the smart guitar in the past, then you'd be familiar with this. It just means that you can really quickly, without knowing how to play any chords, you can lay down a really easy backing or chord progression for your track. So let's do that right now. Put the metronome on, we'll hit record. There's our nice visual indicator. That was pretty terrible in terms of the recording, but you get the idea there. So we can now play that back. And without me knowing any of the actual notes in a G chord or a D minor chord or an A minor chord, I can quickly build that track out. And now I've got myself a backing track that I can now expand on and start adding to. So a simple new feature, but something that's very cool and that's been missing for a while and having that easy access to it so that any keyboard instrument you have, you can instantly start building chords to, to build a nice bass and, and a nice um, a pad for, for your tracks. So I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.